project is happening under the watch of UW Hospital and Clinic CEO Donna Katen Behensky. Five years into the job now, and Katen Behensky talked about the challenges and rewards in tonight's conversation with our Susan Simon. Donna Katen Behensky is the woman at the helm of one of the biggest employers in Dane County. This week, UW Health celebrates a brand new expansion on Madison's east side. Donna has gone from a girl growing up in Kansas City, Missouri, dreaming of a career in archaeology, to being responsible for over 7,000 employees. What is the best part of your job? My favorite part is being out, talking to people, and hearing about what their situation is like, and where are you from, and what can we do to make this better for you while you're here. I love that. I really love that. And what's the most challenging part? The politics and the money. <laughs> I mean, there's never going to be enough money, and there's never going to be a time that we're not going to have to keep looking at our cost because health care is just not sustainable anymore. Yeah. Donna is navigating some major challenges, the Affordable Care Act and most recently the renewed competition with Meritor and the ongoing feud with its insurance company, Physicians Plus. That stressed a lot of people out yes, because did. people have a real personal relationship with their physicians. Um, and there's been a lot of frustration that that didn't seem to get resolved. I think it is confusing to people. I would prefer that it not be that way. And I've continued to put out my hand um, to the administrators of Meritor to say, let's see if we can work something out. Donna has a reputation as a tough negotiator, but a warm and approachable person who's very visible in the community. Her sanctuary at the end of an 18-hour day is her home in Middleton. Riley, you're on TV. <laughs> Donna was kind enough to invite us into her home that she shares with her son Alex, her husband Jim, and their two dogs, Riley and Muffin. We talked about her road to the top that began when she was 19. I worked in the emergency department as an admissions clerk uh, on the night shift. Really? <laughs> yes. While you were in school or when you While graduated? While I was in school. <laughs> what was While that I was like? In, scary. You know, there you are, 19, you're at a big trauma center, uh, and... I knew nothing about health care, and the sight of blood was not for me, and I, it, was, it was intense. Um, but I guess I was pretty good because they handpicked the patient relations reps, and I got chosen. Donna's career took her to bigger jobs in Nebraska, Virginia, and Iowa. And that's when she got a call from an old friend, former CEO Donna Sollenberger, who urged her to move to Madison. How did you convince your family about that? How did your family feel about moving once again, especially your son, who was in <laughs> middle school at the time? <laughs> Shall I tell you what he said to me the first day of school? Yes. I don't want to be here. It's your fault that I'm here, <laughs> and I don't want to be here. I mean, it was like, okay, just take the knife and you know, <laughs> you know rub right. it even more. And I said, just go see if you like it. It was the end of the day. He came home and he said, I'm going to the football game on Friday night with a bunch of people. Is that okay? And from then on, it was just fine. And how has it been to be in Madison? How does it feel to have a couple years under your belt now. Does it feel like home? Oh, absolutely. I, I really don't think I want to leave. And I now have a lot of friends who have decided to retire here and find retirement here quite fun between taking classes at the university and golfing and those kinds of things. So I, I could see myself being here for quite a while. Donna and her husband are about to go through another major transition in their life. This fall, they'll be empty nesters as son Alex begins college in Ohio.